Welcome back, everybody. Hex, the cryptocurrency, has just got a huge, massive update in terms of decentralization. Hex is real DeFi, real decentralized finance, the way crypto was supposed to be. And to prove it, Richard Hart and the team dropped another bomb of an update. What is it, you might ask? Well, if you've been following the story for any amount of time, basically what's happened is that Uniswap, what used to be the premier decentralized exchange on the Ethereum blockchain, has become corrupt. Unfortunately, Hayden Adams has bent the knee and his team. They've become centralized gatekeepers. They started charging a 0.15% fee that goes all to them, not to the uni holders. So what's the point of that uni token again? Nobody really knows, guys. Fake governance. It's just to make people feel good. On top of that, they've been meeting with, you know, the JP Morgans of the world. They've been meeting with the SEC. I just don't trust them. I don't trust what they're up to. And on top of all of that, they had the nerve to gatekeep hacks, to manually delist hacks, now, this was big news a couple of months ago. Everybody's kind of gotten over it by now. Um, they've Basically, all they've done was they delisted Hex from their particular homepage. Now, let's go to uniswap.app really quick. This is just the website. It's one of many websites, and there's tons of other alternatives, guys. We're going to launch the Uniswap interface. This is the Soy Boy Cuck version of Uniswap, the website that blocks Hex manually. So watch. If I try to look for the token Hex, let's type in Hex right there. You can see it right here. You can see it. Look, it pops up right here. Look, it pops up on the screen, but there's a little X next to it. There's a little no-no sign as if it's some kind of a bad unsupported asset, they say. Unsupported asset. This, this right here is the opposite of why crypto was invented. You don't unsupport an asset on what's supposed to be a free decentralized exchange. Okay? Very, very simple. And of course, they're doing all kinds of other centralization BS with the Uniswap X protocol. Their version 4 is going to have KYC as an option, right? As an option, of course. And then one day they're going to force it on everybody. It's the antithesis of crypto. Now it started out great. Uniswap V2 was great. V3 was pretty good as well. But when you delist an asset from what's supposed to be a free borderless open exchange, and when you delist an asset based on allegations, not even factual, not even any legal standing to do so, right? We're just going to fight back 10 times harder. Okay. So that's what the Hex community is all about. We're yelling and screaming 10 times harder, 10 times louder. Everyone's got their megaphone. Look, I got a new megaphone here. And every time you try to stop something, guys, what happens when you tell a little kid not to do something, right? They just want to do it that much more. So you try to delist hacks. And listen, guys, delisting hacks, you can't really delist it. So on the back end, on the Uniswap smart contract, people are still trading hacks on the Ethereum side. And by the way, now, for those that don't know, there's two versions of hacks. We've got the Pulse Chain version of hacks and the Ethereum version of hacks. We trade the Pulse Chain version of hacks on PulseX.com app.pulsex.com. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you should know that that's where all the real DeFi is at, all the real action on the Pulse Chain blockchain. Pulse Chain is a better Ethereum, right? And Pulse X is a better Uniswap. And Hex is a better Bitcoin. Everybody hates that one. So you can trade Hex freely. You can trade PHEX and EHEX over on app.pulsex.com. This has been around for almost over six months now, actually. Nothing new over there. That's a Uniswap V2 clone. Here it is on the screen over here, right? If you go to app.pulsex.com, you switch your network. It'll switch you right over from the censored Ethereum mainnet to the Pulse chain. Now, Ethereum is fine, okay? Ethereum itself is fine. Uniswap, the smart contracts are fine, but the gatekeeping is what we're talking about on today's video. Now, there's no gatekeeping over on Pulse chain. Look, I'm going to switch networks. We're going to switch and we're going to say, look, I can buy the hex from Ethereum over here. I can buy the hex from the Pulse chain. Some people call it P-hex and E-hex. All right, if you're not familiar... You should get familiar. I've got a course if you know nothing about crypto, if you're brand new to Pulse Chain, hexpassiveincome.com. But the gatekeeping on Uniswap is insufferable. We're not going to deal with it anymore. And so there's something really cool that I want to show you on the Pulse Chain GitLab. We're going to get to that in a second. So obviously we know PulseX, they're not gatekeeping. They're not stopping anybody from trading any token you want. And we've got our nice shiny little Hex logos right over here. Both of them. Both of them, guys. So for people that were trying to trade eHex over on the Ethereum blockchain, well, you could trade it freely on Pulse Chain, but there's also another an infinite amount of options, alternative options. They're just different front ends. We've already figured this out. The community has already moved on. The drama has already come and go. There's a critical update though. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about it very quickly, but I want you guys to know that there are a ton of other methods to trade hacks on the Ethereum blockchain. This is what decentralization looks like. Look on the screen in front of you right here. We've got the Ethereum DEXs. We've got Pulse Chain DEXs. Anybody can make a new website that hosts these smart contracts. Anybody can make a website that points to the back end, front end, back end. Okay. Decentralized code like Hex, PulseX, Uniswap. Believe it or not, Uniswap V2 is actually decentralized. It's the new BS that Uniswap is trying to pull that's heading in the opposite direction. But the original OG Uniswap V2, it's good. There's nothing wrong with it. And the reason that it's good is because nobody can shut it off. 
there's no off switch on it, meaning anybody can spin up a new website and point to the Uniswap code on the back end. And all these kinds of people have, you know, you can go to swap.hedron.pro, ethhex.com, portalx swap, sushi swap, matcha, cow swap, pancake swap, one inch. And it's like the Hydra, guys. If you know the Greek myth of the Hydra, it's like that three headed dragon, right? Every time you chop one head off, like five more grow back in its place. You can't kill it. Okay. That's what decentralization looks like. And of course on Pulse Chain, people are building new DEXs all the time. It's great. It's like the Cambrian explosion of innovation over on Pulse Chain. But look, man, you can go to Sushi Swap. You can always do this, right? Go here, enter Sushi Swap. And, and all these people, you know, people were all scared. Oh my God, I can't believe that Uniswap is delisting Hex. How am I going to trade it? You just go to a different website, guys. You go to a different website. Let's type Hex up here. Look, there's your Hex. There's your Hex token. It doesn't have a shiny little logo, but it's not stopping me from trading it. It's not saying unsupported asset, which is really just insulting, right? Unsupported asset. Why? You really shouldn't be unsupporting any asset from your front end because you can't stop people from trading on the back end. Okay. That's what I want people to understand. All right. Cow swap. All right. Cow swap. People have been trading on cow swap for a long time now. And it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Okay. We're going to switch back to Ethereum. Look at cow swap. You know, cow swap is actually nice. You know, cow swap lists hex fine. Let's type in hex. Look, it's even got the little logo right here. It's great. You know, they're not against us over here on cow swap yet. Okay. But cow swap is nice because you don't even have to have ETH for gas. You can do gasless transactions. Meaning if you've got USDC, you can, you don't, it's not like you don't have to pay any gas fee, but you, instead of having to pay the gas fee in Ethereum, you can pay the gas fee in USDC. So that's one of the cool things about CowSwap. But like I said, let's get back to Richard Hart. Let's get back to the, the Richard Hart ecosystem. They just dropped a massive decentralization bomb. This right here that I'm about to show you makes Uniswap and makes Hex trading on Ethereum and Pulse Chain really decentralized, like actually from the fundamental level. It can never, ever, ever be shut off. We just destroyed and obliterated all the Hex gatekeeping, all the censorship. It's over. We already won. We can't be stopped. All right. I want to go over here and I want to Google something for you. It's called the Pulse Chain GitLab. Okay. GitLab is a place where people put code. It's a place where people, tech nerds, they drop all their code. Okay. And the Pulse Chain GitLab has got something pretty cool. Shout out to Hoddle Dog. He's the one that turned me on to this. I had no idea about it until Hoddle Dog showed me a true Hex OG, by the way. Go follow the guy. Uh, look, okay. We just, we found out that we can run Hex locally. All right. We, I made a previous video about that. If you haven't watched my previous how to stake hacks video, you can stake hacks in all kinds of different ways, just like you can trade hacks in all kinds of different ways. Look, all these different front ends for hacks trading. There's all kinds of different hacks mining front ends too. you know, trading front ends, mining front ends, decentralization, trading front ends, mining front ends, options. Decentralization means options it means you shut one down. There's another option for you. Okay. Another backup, but also the latest update with hacks is that you can download hacks locally and run it from your computer, just like running a Bitcoin wallet locally or running a Bitcoin miner locally by clicking an EXE file. Same situation now with Hex. Everybody can and should learn how to run it. And I already taught you how to run it in my previous video. You just click like three buttons. It could not be easier. So go watch that video if you haven't already. I'll put the link right here above if you want to click on that. It's basically the same exact situation now for the ethhex.com Uniswap front end. All right, so ethhex.com, by the way, guys, we can go to ethhex.com on the internet all right. Ethhex.com has been around forever. It's just a Uniswap front end. Look, look at that. It auto fills hex for you. This is on the Ethereum blockchain. It's eHex. Okay. You can trade any Ethereum token for the Ethereum version of hex. If you want to just saying you don't have to, but look at this website. Okay. What if something were bad were to happen to this website? Now people have tried to attack this website before Twitter, a bunch of trolls one time raided this website. This is years ago. I don't think people remember it got labeled as like a phishing website, which is not true. It's just another front end, right? If this is a phishing website, then sushi swap and cow swap. These are all phishing websites because they slightly look like Uniswap. No, that's not true. Okay. It's just a front end portal to play with and adjust the variables in the back end database. The back end database is the blockchain, the smart contracts. Okay. The front end is your window to do your little updating on the, on the database. The blockchain, all the blockchain is guys, it's like a big Excel spreadsheet that everybody owns. And with your private keys, you can update some numbers in the database that kind of belong to you. All right. So let's go back. So remember this, remember this ethhex.com. It's a nice front end. We used to use this back in the glory days, back before pulse chain in the 2021 bull market, everybody was trading on ethhex.com and a lot of people forgot about it. It's kind of the go-to place, but you can now download this locally on your computer. You just got to click a couple of buttons. So ETH Hex Uniswap server. Look at this right here. Look where my mouse is right here. You go to the Pulse Chain GitLab, you click on this button right here. And if you didn't want to click those buttons, I'm going to post a link for you in the description below. So you don't have to click those two buttons. I'm going to make it even easier. Okay. So I'm going to link you right here and you can download the ethhex.com server 
on your own local machine. Now I've got a Mac right now, so I'm gonna do it on Mac, but you can do it on Windows or Linux as well. Let's scroll down, okay? Look at the available pre-built binaries. The downloads are right here. You click on this downloads link right here. You know, I'll just link you right to this webpage, so I'll save you a whole nother click. Thank you, Crypto Coffee, for saving my fingers. You're welcome, you're welcome. macOS.zip, all right, macOS is what we're gonna click on right now just because I've got a Mac. They're all very easy, guys. They download automatically. Look at that, just popped up in the top right corner and it downloaded in about three seconds. We're gonna open my downloads folder. So you can see macOS.zip. We're gonna double click that to unzip it. And we're gonna double click into this folder and we're gonna say, run the ethhex uniswap script. Look where my mouse is, run the ethhex uniswap dot script. We're gonna double click on that. Now you might notice guys, this looks a lot like something we just did on a previous tutorial two videos ago. Running hex.com, go to hex.com staking on your local machine. Now we're running the trading, the swapping on your local machine. Unstoppable code here. Destroying all the centralized haters, the middlemen scum, okay? Uniswap, Uniswap turned on us. It wasn't cool, but we're gonna fight back. And obviously that's what Richards and his team allegedly are doing. We don't even know what Richards doing, but some developers have created this and it's nice. So how do you run it? Well, it's a two-step process. Really, it's a one-step process, guys. You click the triangle button, it's the play symbol. It's right in between the hammer and the square. There's the hammer, there's the square. There's my little play button. I'm gonna click on you. We're gonna open up, you just wait. Okay, wait five seconds and look what just happened. This just popped up on my screen. Now, if you wanna end it, you press okay over here. You go back to the script and you just, I'm not gonna end it right now, but it's ethex.com running locally from your computer. So you're not on a website connected to the internet. You are on your local machine running the script locally. You still connect your MetaMask the same as you always did. You click on MetaMask, click connect, and boom, there you go. You could trade ETH for Hex or any coin for any coin, really. It doesn't even have to be Hex. Any Ethereum token for any Ethereum token, local from your machine. So this is bigger than Hex. This is bigger than Pulse Chain even. This is for all of crypto. You can trade any coin for any coin. It doesn't even have to be about Hex, okay? True freedom for the entire Ethereum blockchain. You don't have to worry about maybe your coin one day. Maybe they're gonna come for your coin next. Now, are you a Pepe fan? Maybe you like Shiba? Well, what if the government tries to come after Shiba? All right, what if the guys at Uniswap decide we don't like Shiba anymore? We think Shiba's a scam. We're gonna delist Shiba from the front end website. Oh my God, panic, right? You don't have to panic. You don't have to, you can chill because you can always run Uniswap from your local machine. It's beautiful, okay? It's really easy too. If you can click on the buttons that I just clicked on and showed you, you can run it. And if you have a MetaMask wallet, oh, what if I have Rabby wallet? No problem, let me show you something really quick. I'll pull up another browser, okay? We'll have Rabby Wallet right here. I've got my Rabby Wallet up here as an example. We're gonna copy the same URL into a different browser, right? We're gonna delete the swap part, okay? So it's localhost colon 3691. I like that, look at the port is 3691. Beautiful. Hidden messages there, guys, hidden messages. Nikola Tesla, 369, numerology. Some woo-woo stuff over there, guys. If anybody knows about 369, it's also the inflation rate in hex. Very special number. But localhost colon 3691, as the script is running still, my script is still running. Remember, this right here is still running. I didn't change it, I didn't quit it yet. So I'm on another browser with Rabby. And click enter over here. And boom, it comes up. Look, there I am. And I can disconnect right here, just to show you guys. Rabby is the exact same thing, connect wallet. Oh my God, it says MetaMask. I don't see my Rabby icon, it's okay. It's okay, click MetaMask, it's gonna be okay. Click it, boom, Rabby comes up. Rabby comes up right here. Oh no, there's an alert. What do we do? It's just because, you know, the Rabby wallet doesn't recognize that you're running something from your local machine. So just click ignore all warnings, click connect. There you go. Same as it always was, guys. Same as it always was. Trade any coin for any coin. Now this has implications, again, larger than just Hex. You can't stop Hex, you can't kill Hex. But if they come for your coin next, even if you hate Hex, even if you hate Pulse Chain, you should be aware of this. You should be aware of this hack. This is a censorship hack to get around corrupt middlemen no matter what, because there's an attack on crypto right now. And a lot of different companies have been attacked. Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini, Hex, uh, I don't know, SafeMoon. <laughs> that one might actually, it might be something that, I don't know. These are all just allegations, okay? The SEC, they're doing this carpet bombing approach where they're just assuming guilt. It's uh, guilty until proven innocent for the SEC. So if they pick on your coin next, you know, Ripple got off with a win and the SEC has been taking loss after loss after loss. It's a beautiful thing to see. I believe we're going in the right direction. PulsePetition.org, by the way, sign the petition, fight for your rights. Doesn't matter who you are in crypto, fight for your right for freedom of speech, 
Pulse Chain and Hex is real DeFi, real freedom of speech. That's what blockchains are. They're freedom of speech. When you're talking on a blockchain, you're just publishing data to a blockchain. If anyone tries to stop you from doing that, they're censoring your free speech. So even a centralized company, like middleman like Uniswap Labs, if they delist Hex, that's censorship of free speech. So I'm showing you how to get around it. No matter if it's Hex one day, Pepe the next day, Chainlink the next day. Oh, they would never do that to Chainlink. What if they do? Okay, what if they do? Everyone likes to laugh and point fingers. We're all on the same team here. We're all on the same team crypto. Okay, you don't have to like Hex to like this. So I want you guys to know, if this is in the description below, okay? The GitLab. The GitLab for the decentralized Uniswap version that you can run locally from your machine. If you have Windows, you press this one. Okay, if you have Linux, you press this download. And this is a big deal. Okay, this is a really, really big deal because it's unstoppable code, immutable, the way crypto was supposed to be. Now, if you found this valuable, like the video, share it, leave a comment, subscribe. It helps the algorithm. It helps boost all of our bags. Okay, it helps the algo. It helps go viral. We want this message to go viral. The message of all of crypto. We're all on the same team here. All right. Now, I like Hex. You guys know I like Hex. And now you can't stop it. You can't stop people from buying it on Ethereum because you can download it locally. Or remember, guys, you go to all these other different websites. You can mine Hex from all these other different websites. Or you can just go to download it on your old machine. Okay. It's beautiful. Or you can do it on Pulse Chain, app.pulsex.com. That trading has never been banned, okay? I mean, that's probably going to be pretty safe. I think it's reasonable to assume that PulseX, app.pulsex.com is not going to gatekeep Hex. You know what I mean? So again, I hope you found this valuable. And if you're brand new to crypto, strongly consider checking out my course, hexpassiveincome.com. If you're brand new to crypto, I really wish I had something like this to save me hundreds and thousands of dollars in mistakes and months worth of time off the learning process. You can cut that down to only a couple of weeks. It's like 30 plus hours of content. Huge bang for your buck. Great value. Oh, and by the way, 25% off using code bear market. And I'm, I'm giving that code away because the bear market's not going to last forever. Okay. We could be coming up on a bull market pretty soon. I don't know. 2024 might be a lot different. So if you're going to get into crypto, learn about it now before it's too late. You don't want to be buying up at the top. Okay. Thanks. I'll see you on the next one.